Jasvinder, when I hear that, that amendments to legislation, that changes to law are coming in, I, I do tend to react by saying, haven't we got enough laws already? Um, but, but, but clearly, from what Vanessa's just said, Parliament isn't particularly interested. Well, the keystone to justice is the belief that the legal system treats all fairly. Let's start there. Um, in 2018, the government, then then Justice Minister, said that they would consider the law. It got full parliamentary backing, and we haven't heard a thing. This isn't a new campaign. This is an old campaign. And the point here is, is that we are listening to people who are older. I, I've recently dealt with an 86-year-old woman, law-abiding citizen, who was asked to go to the police station for sending cards and gifts to her grandchildren that she became estranged from. She was asked to accept a caution and she mustn't do it again. I actually told her not to accept that. You know, we're talking about, today I heard about her mother whose only daughter has passed away. The husband has found a new partner and he's refusing to allow this woman to see the child. This is about the rights of children. And I've been looking at this for a year now. And I tell you, Nigel, in the last year, I have heard of seven suicides of grandparents. What the Ministry of Justice will say mm. is they've invested 5.4 million in mediation. What they have to remember is this. Mediation is not mandatory. So grandparents have no alternative as a last resort but to look to the courts. And I'm sorry, the courts need to wake up because they are in denial of this issue. Well, I mean, what you're talking here about, Jasminder, then really, you're talking about significant psychological suffering, not, and you're arguing not just on behalf of the grandparents, but on behalf of the grandchildren as well. Absolutely. I mean, how we treat our grand grandparents, grandchildren, actually, I mean, France enshrines it in law that grandparents should have that right. Other countries do. It is appalling. It's interesting, isn't it, how... Grandparents are recognised as kinship carers. So, you know, in social care, local authority will look to grandparents to as a placement for grandchildren. However, we're not good enough to be enshrined in law. So the grown-ups can have their arguments. And let me just make the point that if there are safeguarding issues, absolutely understand that access should be denied, OK? We're not talking about that. We are talking about safe loving relationships whereby overnight this young child thinks what's happened to grandma what's happened to grand, grand, grandpa and just gone